Hey guys, welcome back. So last time we were able to work on the settings screen and the user is able to persist their, their sort by preference. So notice that I set it to last name and when I go away and come back, it is still last name. So in this video, we want to be able to sort these contacts depending on what the user has chosen as their sort by pref. So if a user say, says they want sort by the first name, we should have the names alpha, sorted alphabetically using the first name or the last name like that. So if we come to our contact list where we have the flat list. So here we create a practice and then we pass data. Now this data, we are going to be sorting it. So here we're going to check if we have the data and then we are going to sort it depending if the user has said they want to sort by the first name or the last name. Now, first off, we need to first get to know what the user wants us to sort by. And by the way, I need to remove this model here. Side note. So we need to first get the current value of the user's choice. I'm going to go to how we are saving it here. So we'll have a simple state for sort by also in the screen for contacts. So we can come here and also have it. So let's have it on top here. Then we need to retrieve these preferences for the user, just like we did in this screen. So we can have a use effect. Let's do use effect. Now in this one, let's come over here and do a use effect. Okay, so now on this one, we are going to be using a use focus effect instead. That's because whenever a user changes it in settings and they come back to this list, we want to make sure that we check again the async storage when the user focuses back this screen. So right now, when a user goes to setting screen and then they come back here, this is not being re-rendered. This is now being refocused because as we know, the way React Navigation works is when you come here, it's gonna, it's gonna pop the other one and then push this one on top. When you go back, it just takes it away. So this is not being rendered. So what I wanna do is use the focus effect. So the focus effect from React Navigation helps us to tell when the screen has come in the user's focus or when it has left, like we had seen before. So to use that, we want to come here and say use focus effect. Then we can use React dot use callback. So use callback, we already know how that works. They will give it some set of dependencies. So we are not going to be depending on anything. So in here, that's where we're gonna be rerunning our rerunning our our get settings. So we can come down here and say get settings. Now, if you wanted to run something when the screen loses focus, you know we would do that in the cleanup function. But now we want to run it whenever a user comes back here. So let's create get settings. So I'm gonna come over here and do const get settings. It's just going to be an async function because we want to work with async storage or read from it. So in that, we need to get the sort pref, of course, the sort by pref. So we're going to be doing something like this. So we're going to say if we have the sort pref, then we do async storage, await async storage. Let's import async storage property. So we do async storage, get item, the sort by. Now when we get the sort by, so if we have the sort by, then we should be able to set sort by to our sort pref. So this is an error here. Sorry, sorry. So we want to do if we have the sort pref, then we want to set the sort by to the sort pref. So now if you can log the sort by, you see that we have the first name. Now that we know that this gets updated, we need to send it down to our child component. So we'll come here and set it. So now we can go to our child component. Then we need to accept it in props. So let's get it like this. Let's clean up this stuff we are not using. We might not get enough time to clean up. Then remove the model. So now that we have the sort by, we can come here where we show the list view or the flat list. And then instead of us passing data like this, we are gonna check if we have the sort by. So if we have the sort by, that means that the user has already changed some preferences. Then we're going to do data.sort. So sort takes in a compare function and then returns the number. So since we're gonna be comparing the first name and last name, then we can go ahead and pick those. So here we can have first name, last name. So the, the first item will be, we can treat it as A, then the second one as B. Then we need to return either a one or a minus one. So when we return one, that's gonna mean that the A value is greater than the B value or it should be given more sort preference over the B value. So here we need to also handle when we don't have the sort by. 
I'm just gonna come over here and say if we don't have the sort by, then don't sort. Okay, so in here, we need to first check what the user wants us to sort by. So we can check if sort by equals first name. So if it is first name, then we want to, to have another if that compares the first name. So we can have if b dot first name is greater than a dot first name, then return negative one else return one okay so here you can have else return one so this is only for when the user is sorting by the first name so when we do that you see that we have a d g and so on and so forth so down here we also want to handle the sort by if the user is sorting by the last name so you can say if the sort value is the last name then we can now run the opposite so here you can say last name then this should also be last name. So save it. Now, if we come and go to settings and change the sort by value to last name and come back, you see that now we are sorting by, basically it's the, the reverse order. Okay, so come here, then be able to do last name, then come, it's gonna change. If you come back again and sort by the other one, then it's gonna go ahead and update. So we'll keep it here. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.